first year jazz students, beginner jazz students, intermediates, anybody else that's currently getting into playing jazz, this lesson is for you guys just to help you out with your flow when you're trying to swing. Now, I hear a lot of um, beginner jazz students when they first get in to playing the swing. And it's, I'm not blaming you, man. It's not your fault. You just haven't been shown right yet. And that's what this video is for. But I hear a lot of beginners, man, when they, when they launch into playing jazz, it just ends up sounding very stiff and square. And um, as a result, it just doesn't end up sounding that good. And it's just because your approach to it is just kind of wrong. Now jazz music is not a backbeat oriented music like rock, pop, funk, any of that other stuff, right? So we're not always hitting downbeats all the time when you're playing jazz. The forward motion is very smooth um, when you're playing this, this type of thing. And there's a very quick solution to that that's gonna change how you play this, literally like that, all right? All you really have to do to correct this is something that I call quarter jumping. Now quarter jumping, all that means is that instead of hitting the downbeats like you typically would when you're playing rock or funk or whatever else, we don't do that when we're playing jazz. Typically what we like to do is avoid the downbeats and just hop over them. Your downbeats just become accents. So we're not always kind of hitting them. Sometimes you might want to just punch one, you know, for punctuation. But when you're playing it while you're swinging, it just flows a lot better if you just avoid the one altogether. Listen to the difference. you hear that? I mean, the difference is just, I mean, it's evident, right? It just feels way better the other way. So basically, man, you just really have to approach this the right way when you're playing it. And I mean, if you want to put a visual to it, you just have to think of swing-based bebop stuff less like this and more like this. So it's just a constant forward motion, man. Just keep pushing into those downbeats and, you know, hit those accents. And, um, yeah, it just, it just flows way better when you do that. So there's a really super simple way that you can work on this. And you can start on the drums just playing a typical swing. And all you're really going to do is just practice hitting the pushes. So there's a very simple way to practice doing this on the drums. And this is just designed to sort of help you get used to pushing all of the downbeats. So if we're counting one, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four, uh, one, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four, you're just gonna practice pushing the ahs of each downbeat. So when I play them, I play them as accents. I'll either play it with, you know, the, um, the ride and the snare or the ride and the kick. You're going to practice doing both. So a very simple exercise is to just run through each one of them, starting with the ah of one, and then the ah of two, and then of three, and then of four on the snare. And then you're going to repeat it on the kick, doing the same thing. And that looks like this.
Practice that for as long as you need to until you get comfortable with all of those pushes. The next step after that, what you're going to do is the same deal, but now you're just sort of going to randomize them and not really think too far ahead about what it is you're going to play. You're just going to mix them up, sometimes with the, with the snare, sometimes on the kick, and you're just going to push them. When I'm playing these pushes, I'm just taking the stick and I'm just pushing it right against the ride. It's very comfortable, actually, to play. It's very relaxing. Um, but that's all I'm doing. I'm just sort of, you know, I'll either hit an accent or I'll just sort of, you know, dig my stick into the snare while I'm, while I'm playing them. And um, that's my sort of physical approach to playing these pushes. So the next thing, that's what you're going to do, is just practice sort of randomizing the, um, the pushes and the accents, and that looks like this. And then, of course, after that, you're going to work your speed up so you can do this at faster tempos, you know, anything over 200. And um, a good tip for you as well is as you start to get higher in tempo and as you start to get used to this, just sort of dial back the volume on the accents. It just helps to sort of smooth everything out. And it just really sounds nice and smooth when you hit it. So that's it, man. Very simple exercise that's going to help you out with your jazz swing. It's going to transform how you sound in your next jazz class. People are going to be turning around looking at you like, man, you must have been watching Rob Brown. Tell them that you learned it right here. Like, subscribe, comment. Start working on this. See you in the next video.